girls, this is organizing tip number six. Um, I bought this, this is photo organization, by the way. Um, I bought this container on Amazon, oh, about a year ago. Um, it came with all of these little plastic things. So, everything I needed to organize my photos was already in here. I've already used up all of the labels it came with, so I need to buy some extra ones. But, um, I have all of my photos in here. Um, according to book or that type of thing. Um, I'll explain. Like, this one is all pictures of my male cat, Dobby. Um, this one is all pictures of my female cat, Livy. These two are from my 12 by 2012 Owl Owl album. Um, they're not in any particular or order. They're just in there and also things that I want to include in the scrapbook are in there as well. Um, and then... This one has all of the pictures that I'm turning into home decor pieces um, in it. This one is all the calendar pics that I'm going to be using at some point on calendars for my in-laws. Um, I make a 12 by 12 cal calendar for them every year for Christmas, so that's always going to be there. And then this is pictures all about my that's all my husband um they're old i don't know what i'm gonna do with them and then this one's gonna be like 2013 gifts pictures i'm gonna turn into gifts i mean that type of thing and then i got three more that have never been used um so that's how i organize my photos it's easiest for me when I do it by project, um, since that's the way I think. Um, now, I order my photos off of Shutterfly, um, unless, well, I used to print them, the one by myself, but I hate doing that. I, I just absolutely hate it. So, I scan the ones that um, I don't want to use the originals of, and then I send those to Shutterfly. So, still the same thing. Um, and then I don't delete them off my computer until I get the pictures at my house. And then as I go through the pictures, I delete them as I see them from the folders on my computer. Um, and then if I, I was really bad this year of not remembering dates or occasions for my pictures, I'm going to work on that. Um, and then I'll write down the date and if I have to, who's in the picture and what occasion it was on the back. So that way when I get ready to scrapbook, I can put that on a piece of paper to put on my scrapbook layout. But I really suggest getting this thing. Um, it's amazing. I love it. Um, I don't think I'll ever or like organize my photos in, in another way. Um, in another container it's just and if I ever have these two full um, to where I need another one I'll get another one just like it um, another thing that I forgot to mention that uh, underneath the photo holders I've got the cards and letters and stuff that I don't want to get rid of, um, like birthday cards, love letters from my husband, the first birthday card I ever got from my husband, cards I've gotten in the mail, um, first Valentine's Day card, um, that I don't really intend on scrapbooking, but I want to keep, um, just because they're special to me, and it just feels like this is the place to keep them since I've got this plan in my head. If there's ever a fire, I know exactly where I'm, like, we have a plan of grabbing the photo box and my already done albums. Um, 
everything else can be replaced. Um, I know that sounds terrible, but it's true. Um, all my supplies and stuff can be replaced, but pictures and whatever already scrapbooked cannot. Um, so that's my organizing tip number six for you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.